And now I present to you James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay. We're back. Another week has flown by. And yes, my Thanksgiving was exactly as I predicted. I gorged myself on my uh, sister Lisa's wonderful cooking and her giant pterodactyl toiki and uh, she baked some uh, sugar-free pumpkin pies yeah. and one sugar-free uh, apple pie and uh, what is a racket in the background Anyway, oh, anyway, and um, I do a lot of food, a lot of booze too. Oh my God! So um, I did gorge myself, and my sister uh, um, gave me lots of uh, Thanksgiving leftovers. Uh, I'm having them today, baby. And I uh, made a lot of cold. Toiki sandwiches with horseradish, mayonnaise, and lots of fresh ground black pepper ah. with a with a big pepper mill. There you go. No, I'm only kidding. I don't own a big pepper mill. Ah. I wish I had one. Actually, it shows a lot of class. The the, the fancier the restaurant, the taller the, taller the, pe the, the taller the pepper mill is. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a phallus. Yeah, in some restaurants. Like a phallus, you know. In some restaurants, <laughs> they get, they put they 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 they. <laughs> They grind it on yours from another table. Oh, yeah. oh! Would you like That's some? Uh, would you like some black pepper? And your your vegetables? And your your grilled? Yeah. Let me do it. Hey, the waiter goes like this: crunch, crunch, and he walks away. Hey, give me some more. Come on, I want a lot of abundanza. I want a lot of black pepper, man. I give him, wrap him right on the head with my black thorn shillelagh. Cheap bastard! I hate the stingy cheap bastards in the food industry. You know. You know, you people pay a premium price to go out to eat. You know what I mean, man? Speaking of the food industry, woo! An off, uh, offhand. In, in here, honor, right? honor of Charlotte Flair. The the price of cattle should be going down. Oh, there's plenty of cattle. They're too fat. What do you mean, fatty? Fatty. They're fat, and they will be tipping the scales. And therefore, the meat will be cheaper. Well, the meat will be more tender because you, the more marbling. You ever see Kobe marbling, beef? Marbling, yeah, marbling, but not fat. That's you know all over the place. Well, it's got to be. It's got to be a reasonable um, uh, amount um, in proportion to meat to marbling. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this way, see? when you when you put it on that flame, and you get it, you get a nice braised, crispy, crunchy. You know, blackened on the outside and medium rare to rare on the inside. I, I watched it on the Travel Channel uh, on Thanksgiving. It was all about beef and bison. The top steakhouses in the United States. And they were showing the whole science of, you know, aging the black Angus and how to uh, cut it. And, yeah, the, well. and, and uh, oh, you know what the thing is now? They take meat. It could be turkey, it could be bison, it could be beef, and they wrap it in bacon. That's the thing now. Bacon or mignon too. Well, because I think the fat of the, of the, from the bacon helps tenderize your meat. Yeah, but the point of it is, some of these big chunks of meat that people buy, you got to cut off all this fat. Uh, you you know, it's even worse. I went to. Uh, there were two of them. That's locally. not marbling. There baby. were two of them locally. Alexa Steakhouse. One was in yeah. Haw one was in Hawthorne, New Jersey. The other one, the other one was in Clifton. The one in Hawthorne was a number one. The one in Clifton, I was slicing all this freaking gristle off my steak, man. That's it's horrible. The gristle, see the fat. If you if you grill it at high temperature, it, you know the fat becomes like. Like butter, you know, it gets soft and it, it, a lot of it melts, but not the gristle. Mm. By the time I got rid of all the gristle, I must have lost one third of the damn steak. It's, it's the last time I went there. What about cubbies? So they weren't trimming their their meat, is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But anyway, yeah, you got to pay through the nose of cubbies. I but know. but they got top of the line food. Uh -huh. I haven't been there in years. Yeah, they used to have the classic car show there, man. Yeah. 
Anyway. There's not enough room, though. Well, there, there, small. there was enough room until all the bikers started showing up and, uh, and you know, parked their bikes where the car should be mm -hmm. and just sat there revving them up. Blah, 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 blah. You, know, you know, pay attention to me, blah, 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 you know how it is. Anyway, th welcome to um, Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madon of Mega Life 21. I'm here with my co-host uh, and, the, and the very founder of Newsletters Censored in 1977, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this post-Black Friday Sir, and for the post Black Friday, and for the critic who asked, oh, "What is that picture behind you?" That is, I, me. That's a self-portrait. Okay. This guy here, Billy Jr. That's a self-portrait of the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. And for those that are wondering why the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman doesn't sit in front of the camera, just wa just stare at the painting. That's all you need to see. You pencil neck geeks. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that critic now will quiet Jab down jabroni. and listen to the show and the content rather than looking at pictures in our back ground. You know, um, it actually is a plus that you don't see Dr. Bill Ooh. because you can focus on what he has to say uh. more and more accurately. Hopefully. The content of the show, not stupid comments. Uh, of course, um, uh, social media and the internet, you know, people are constantly posting trivial, stupid, unimportant things. They never really dig down deep and um, really study the content. Very few do. I'm not saying no one does. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some, some that are administrators. Of, of my Facebook groups and, and and a few that are very proactive on the group that are in very intelligent people and, and they and they discuss content but the average person is a, a total imbecile in the United States mm -hmm. without a doubt especially the, the the poor that vote Republican for generations and they're still poor especially them now uh, uh, Marco Rubio wants uh, the, uh, I guess, the Christian Bible to oversee the, the United Constitution. States, uh, con uh, uh, the the uh, Constitution, the courts, the the uh, Supreme Court, the Constitution. He wants the Bible instead of the Constitution. Now, what's next? The, in the Inquisition. Well, that's just the another uh, way of saying we are a Christian nation. Prove it. I, I you, hear what, you see what I said? Who's God, uh, Marco yeah. Rubio? And prove it. Can you prove it? No. I don't think so. Can't prove it because it ain't true. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They, 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 they like to talk about things like the Bible, God. Uh, 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 sometimes they throw Jesus' name in there somewhere, and the Constitution, and the Founding Fathers, yeah. but they do not really quote verbatim. Yeah, because they, they don't know. There's, <clears throat> just this, there's just this aura around religion, and all you need to do is pretend that you are religious, righteous, like the Pharisees of old, the Sadducees did, and people had this deference and this respect for that, and they don't question it. You know what I mean? No. Like, well, like you'll you'll see them; they'll all be there on Facebook and everything. Merry Christmas! Let's put Christ back in Christmas. He never Christ. was. He never was. Never was there. Never it's was. Paganism, there. man. Easter. Christmas, Easter they're all, all based on paganism. Simon Magus and the Roman Catholic, the early mm. Roman Catholic Church. And, 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 and people accept all this crap all instead of checking it out, baby. Well, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Krampus. Okay. You know, Krampus uh, kidnaps <laughs> bad children and tortures them. Ooh. I'm a fan of Krampus. from Germany. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, it, I'm not a fan of bad children. It is no uh, brats, spoiled, coddled uh, brats. I um, 
this is post uh, uh, Black Friday. Yesterday was Black Friday, and y yes, I, I was not on any highway whatsoever yesterday. And uh, I took the back roads, and uh, I refuse to be a brainwashed lemming like the, the rest of these American fools, you know, with the guilt trip that's laid on them that if they don't go into debt this time of year, buying a, b a bunch of ingrates uh, gifts that many will be returned that uh, you know they just they just totally brainwashed by the uh, the, the Zionist run American big retail industry with these nauseating sickening fine jewelry and car dealer commercials especially Jared, Jared Zales jewelry you have no idea what a a scamming racket fine jewelry is you have no idea the markup the beers mining company South Africa deliberately controls the exportation of diamonds in the rough just to keep the price up diamonds are not the precious stones they once were the diamonds you see at Zales and Jared for thousands of dollars contain many inclusions they are not investment quality certified gemological institute of america investment diamonds they are not investments they will depreciate like a new car as ah, soon as you take them out of the showroom as soon as you take that diamond out of the box and put it on your finger boom try to get uh, sell it mm -hmm. i'm telling you your suckers retail is is one of the sleaziest aspects one of the most underhanded aspects of uh, 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 crony capitalism in America. Capitalism in a conch shell. In a conch shell. They are, they, uh, it is legal stealing. They, they lie to you, you know, like Republicans do. They lie to you in their advertisements and uh, they're allowed to. Yeah. You know, and um, they like to use this, uh, well, car dealers are doing it even too. And um, sleazy uh, insurance companies, this this schmaltzy sentimental music to, to to try to get you to cry, you know, and show families and everything. So to sell to sell their products, you know, so you get suckered. But anyway, I want um. Here's our evangelical serpent. There he is. Right wing conservative evangelical serpent. Yeah, Ooh, he, he, he only bites evangelical. His head twitched. Ah! Wait a minute. He is, only bites evangelicals. Is it like the uh, ventriloquist dummy that comes to life and starts talking? I saw his head go from here to there. It, it like snapped back. Don't scare me about snakes, man. Is Mr. Anonymous? You know who he is. The reason why I have only this. Um, steel uh, die cast vehicle out and none other is because this represents the unions that are supporting Mr. Bernie Sanders in 2016. This is uh, represents the great United States Postal Union, the post office, who is supporting Bernie and will make it symbolic of all unions that are doing the right thing. And supporting Bernie Sanders. Um, there you go, post postal uh, truck. And uh, I'm glad to see that that uh, that rapper, what's his name, Killer Mike, Ooh. Mike Killer, a, a very famous rapper, is Never is endorsing Bernie Sanders. Um, look, as time goes by, Bernie is building a lot of momentum. He is gaining a lot of like celebrities and uh, you know uh, um, um, the poor minorities, especially kids, uh, college kids. He is just—it's like a snowball coming down a snowy mountain. I'm telling you, and it's like it's technically not 2016 yet. Do no. you know? And uh, of course, Hillary's sounding more Republican as time goes by. <laughs> But, um, um, oh, Donald Trump, as much as we bash him and make fun of him, I 
We'll, well, first let me get the formalities over with. I want to say hello to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, uh, Miho. Uh, I want to say greetings to all my Facebook group administrators, uh, Sash Boyle, Anthony Laura, uh, Mick Von Raven, um, and all of them. I can't remember everybody, for no. God's sakes. <laughs> Uh, Mario Petrus of Petrus Fitness, uh, shout out to you, and um, let's see, oh, my good friend from Portugal, Indian Clubs Portugal, Mr. Helder Gandra, with his all new Helder Gandra designer collection of exercise clubs, I salute mm. you, Mr. Helder Gandra. Um, and uh, 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 Jean-Luc Odon. Uh, Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc from the south of France, a brilliant man. Uh, and um, that's about it, really. Um, I'm still recovering from Thanksgiving. and uh, um, Oh, Donald Trump. Yeah. I am testifying right now that Donald Trump was right about the, uh, he was correct about the Muslim Americans that were cheering and jumping up and down in the streets, but it wasn't Jersey City, it was Patterson, New Jersey, which has a very large Muslim neighborhood, Middle Eastern neighborhood, and I saw it with my own eyes, I do not live far from there, it happened. So these reporters on CNN that said uh, they debunked Donald Trump's claim you're full of shit because the Donald is right it really did happen you know and if that that guy that he was mocking you know the when he was going to yeah I'm going to speak about that okay all right but anyway Donald is right about cheering Muslim Americans on 9-11 that's it uh, as far as the retail industry, what I said before about Zales and Jared and all that, they are part of this week's Chisler's Hall of Shame. All right. You know what? All right. Let me check the time and see if we have time for your... All right. You know what? Make your statements and then go to the readings. But it's the no, floor is yours. statements your... are the readings. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Let us... I have statements. Then let us... Not lettuce that goes in a salad, but let Let's us make a honeymoon sandwich. <laughs> let us turn up and pee. That's, that's a cheap bastard sandwich, or it's like a space sandwich: two slices of bread with nothing in the middle. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah, ah, ah. Oh man! Um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know it's hard to believe the warm weather we're having, and it's almost December the first. Amazing. Good. Oh. This crown, you know what this means. We are the undisputed kings of progressive internet talk radio, especially me. We hold nothing back. Watch MSNBC and see how much they hold back. Watch uh, other broadcasters and see how much they hold back because they're spineless, sniveling, pusillanimous, pip pipsqueak cowards. Hold on, I gotta emphasize that. Can you dig that, suckers? The undisputed king, and you could take that to the bank. Go ahead, Bill. Dr. Bill. The florist who won't provide floral arrangements for a gay friend is, who is getting married is hiding her bigotry behind her cloak of being a Christian. Ah, one of those Christians. Any religious conviction she has should apply only to her and should not be forced on those around her. Otherwise, a Jewish supermarket cashier could refuse to ring up a purchase of ham. Yeah, or a Muslim cashier. I cannot touch this ham. It is against my religion to handle the ham. Uh, or an Amish painter could refuse to paint a garage because it houses a car. What? Oh, they're that oh. bad? 
modern world, you know. They are that fanatical. Well, they drive in their wagons. They don't believe in cars. Then they they are considered uh, like right wing fundamentalists. Then, right? Well, they are zealots. All, all are they, are they a form of zealot, right? Yeah. Or zealot. And of course, uh, God never said anything like that. You know Jesus I mean? never said to celebrate anybody's birthday. God, as long as the whatever it is, like a car. Is used for good purposes. God has no problem with the modern world per se. I was having that very conversation yeah. with, with William Morrow. Many things can be used for both good or evil. That's the, the, the problem. The laser beam can be used to perform surgery, but it can be used as a weapon. Money can be used for both good and evil. Oh, yeah. yeah. Many things can be used for both good and evil. It depends on the person who's w wielding it. The Ten Commandments, none of which makes any reference to gay marriage, all start with thou shalt not. Not they shalt not. The florist who is against gay marriage should express that by not getting married to another woman. What Not about by just, telling other people who she thinks they should marry. Well, why don't uh, 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 the best idea is just to, to go on and live your own life and mind your own fucking business. Well, that's what they're saying. What right? other people do. That's what it's saying. <laughs> but seriously. they don't. The evangelicals stick their noses into they, everything and especially your bedroom. They're very nosy. That okay? And I'm sure they love this idea of spying through the new flat screen uh, 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 yes, 3D. Uh, what is the new technology now? Um, uh, 4K. Yeah, yeah. Uh, high, high definition is obsolete. So is Wi-Fi, I hear. There's a new technology to, to replace the Wi-Fi. But anyway, yeah, the, it, it is suspect that uh, there is a... Uh, spying device built into your new 4K flat screen television. A letter writer takes issue with Mike Kelly's column. So make sure you have sex in front of that TV. Apparently for pointing out that then President George W. Bush wanted to avoid painting all Islam with the same brush. But not now. Now he's a nice guy. It was okay when Bush did it, but not with President Obama. Oh, boy. And to criticize the Republican candidates for their obvious appeals to fear and prejudice, that's out of context. Remarkably, the writer thinks talking tough, but without any concrete strategy, will keep this country safe. Maybe all our president needs to do is say radical Islamic terrorism three times into a mirror and all will be well. And there's more. Apparently our president tolerates radical jihadists. This despite thousands targeted by drone strikes and covert military operations in multiple countries. What about the collateral damage uh, caused by drone strikes for, uh, of innocent Well, now civilians. you're criticizing them, right? Criticizing what? The drone strikes. The, the but he, they're, they're saying here, this is what he's doing. Why are you criticizing him? He has no strategy. He's doing something. Somebody's given the command to carry them out, right? Yeah, he's doing something. But the Republicans keep saying he's not doing anything. He has no strategy. <laughs> you know? They lie through their teeth and they repeat the lies. So. And of course, America has led the coalition air campaign against ISIS. Some 8,000 strikes with 28,000 bombs and missiles. This is not a laissez-faire, hands-off policy of any kind. Kelly summed up his column with the question, 
Can Republicans build a winning coalition out of the anti-Muslim fervor in the wake of the Paris attacks? Who wants them to build a winning anything? <laughs> That's what their candidate statements are all about. Stoking fear in the hope of drumming up more votes. Well, I'll tell you one thing. That uh, incident of Turkey shooting down the, the, the Russian uh, warplane, in my opinion, was no oops accident. And, 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 and the Turkey, just like Kuwait, who are supposed to be our allies, have been uh, funding, secretly, funding ISIS. So there are so some. So was the United States. So they're all guilty. And you can't trust the Saudis. I think they stick together. To Whenever there's with. money involved, you can't trust anybody. I think they stick together. Okay. Well, they, ISIS, before it became what it became, they thought was a moderate faction fighting Assad. Turned out it was a faction that wanted to conquer the world. Yeah. So, so would you consider ISIS to be even worse than Al Qaeda? I would say so, yes, yeah. because I never heard anything about Al Qaeda wanting to conquer the world. Well, first, yeah, they want to spread their tentacles, ISIS. Ah. Now, first of all, these countries in the Middle East do not like being occupied by the United States and their uh, and their oil tycoons they are the big oil they don't like being occupied you know and uh, there's plenty of US military bases all around over the there. world man but you know you the notice world. how they're concentrated and where all the oil is yeah yeah so Donald Trump said he couldn't have been making fun of a reporter's disability because he doesn't know the man. He doesn't Not know. so, says the reporter. Well, apparently he does know the man. Serge Kovaleski 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 of the New York Times says he has met Trump repeatedly. <laughs> Interviewing him in his office and talking to him at news conferences when he worked for the New York Daily News in the late 1980s. Oh. Donald and I were on a first name basis for years. Really? He had the, he had the disab disability back then too? Okay. He said in a Times story about the Republican presidential candidate's behavior at a rally in South Carolina this week. Which was which was based on the cheering of the Muslim Americans, right? Originally, I don't know. I think the story. All I know is the started making fun of the, of the reporter. Yeah. 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 On stage, a mocking Trump flailed his arms <laughs> in an apparent attempt to imitate mannerisms of the poor guy. Well, you saw the, the video. Yes. Yeah. He accused Kowaleski of backing off a story from a week after the 911 attacks that said authorities in New Jersey detained and questioned a number of people who were allegedly seen celebrating the attack. It was a lot of people. Kowaleski then worked for the Washington Times. Right. I mean, excuse me, Post. Post. Trump cites the story as proof of his claim that thousands of Muslims wow. in New Jersey celebrated the devastation across the river. No, no, it wasn't thousands. It was <laughs> but the story, I, oh, I know that... They did show Palestinians celebrating. But they were... This has been a Mega Life 21 production. 
Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.